Hello friends, welcome to Science Land. I am Nikita and today I am going to talk about function of proteins. Now, this video is a little generalized. Obviously, I will be talking about the structure of protein in depth in different videos. Before starting the video, consider subscribing to Science Land as it motivates me and I am sure it will be helpful to you. So, let's begin. There are a couple of functions. I will be discussing each function and giving you examples. The very first function is enzyme catalysis now certain proteins are very specific in nature these proteins behave as enzymes now what does enzyme do it increases the reaction rate of a particular reaction for example I have a substrate which is converting into product at 1x speed in presence of enzyme the same substrate is getting converted into product at 100x speed so the enzyme accelerates the reaction such that the product is made quickly. Now, some reactions are very simple. For example, hydration of CO2 is a simple reaction. But replication of chromosome, it's a complex chemical reaction. Irrespective of the complexity, the enzymes are present in both the reactions. So, proteins have enzymatic function. Second, transport proteins. Now, certain proteins, they act as carrier of certain molecules. For example, hemoglobin in erythrocytes or RBCs, they carry oxygen. Myoglobin, it's a specific protein. Protein. It carries oxygen in muscles. Another example, iron is carried by a protein called trans ferrin which is present in the plasma of the blood moving on the third function is nutrient proteins now certain proteins provide nutrition for example seeds seeds have stored reservoir which are required for the growth of germinating seeds for example seed protein of rice wheat the another example is ovalbumin now this is a major protein in egg casein major protein of milk all these are nutrient proteins moving on coordinated motion now we all know that muscles have their main component as proteins so when two muscles slide the protein filaments are involved in the contraction even while there is a movement or motion there are some proteins which are involved in it first example is muscle contraction second movement of chromosomes in mitosis in anaphase the replicated chromosomes are again pulled back that movement of chromosomes is also facilitated by certain proteins third propulsion of sperm by flagella the movement of sperm is assisted by a protein which makes up the flagella the fifth function is mechanical support so bone skin all these are very rigid they have high tensile strength there is a protein which enables the skin and bone with that strength the protein is collagen collagen is a fibrous protein so certain proteins they provide mechanical support sixth function immune protection there are certain specialized proteins which are antibodies antibodies have the ability to recognize between the self and a non-self cell self cell meaning a cell belonging to the human body non-self as in a foreign particle a virus or a bacteria which will cause the disease so these specialized proteins which are antibodies they distinguish between the cells and provide immunity moving on the seventh function of protein is generation and transmission of nerve impulses two neurons have something which is known as synapses now a stimuli is passed through one nerve and it is transmitted to another and the message is delivered to the brain. Now, there are certain receptor proteins which are present on these nerves. Now, a molecule like acetylcholine comes into picture and the receptor proteins are triggered by it, thus facilitating the transmission of the nerve impulse. Another example is rhodopsin. It's a light sensitive protein in the retinal eye cell. All these have generation and transmission of certain impulses. The last function is controlled growth and differentiation. The basis of any biological system is genetic information. Expression of genetic information should be in an orderly manner. Not all the genes should be expressed at a time. There has to be a particular sequential order of 
the expression of genetic information for example in bacteria if there is a need of certain protein the other genes are repressed in that situation repressor proteins come into picture in high organisms we have growth factors and hormones which support the controlled growth and differentiation so these are the functions of proteins that's it for today's video do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching bye bye